she's not there talks about a key change in your life and but there's also uh, the other the other memoirs are sort of also haunted by the past in a way and so i see this this continuity of of haunting and a and a and a and a, a, a not an epiphany but a key moments in life so of changing that produce a future that changes things, particularly in the in the most recent book, mm. of, of sort of this continuity of of ghosts, yeah. ghosts in your parents' house, ghosts of your past life, and and I'm wondering, uh, you know, I want to talk about that a little bit. Do you well, see? sure, I and mean, I think um, so. When we when we talk about ghosts, mm-hmm. um, it could be we're talking about um, what I think is. Um, uh, something that's make believe that mm-hmm. you know there are um, spirits uh, that are out to scare us, and I don't. I'm, I've seen things that I can't explain. I know, but, yeah. but I at the same time I, I I don't really believe in those kinds of ghosts. Good. And I think it's I think it's because they're not there. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's I think it's silly. I mean, I, I do. There are things that we can't explain, but but uh, I, the kind of ghosts that I think are more, um, they're more interesting are. Uh, the ghost as metaphor, yeah. which is to say, so to me, t- being haunted to me means that something has happened to you that you've never quite gotten over, and that continues to affect who you become yeah. into the future. Um, it's like sh- it's just more like shadows than mm-hmm. ghosts that trail trail after us. And for some, it, for some people, it's trauma. So mm-hmm. it's some some terrible thing happened to them, um, and. I think there are a lot of trans people like that. Well, there's, there's see, certainly see. a lot of veterans who are like that. But I think there's people can also be haunted by joy, and you're you're lucky if that's if that's you. Mm. Uh, if something really good happens to you, um, with any luck, you carry that with you for the rest of your life as well. Well, but I also see. So I see it's not just haunting, but I see or, or ghosts. I see family secrets. Episodes that change lives. Those are two things I think mm-hmm. about. I think about from your knowing your personal life, family secrets, right. interpersonal secrets, yeah. haunting events, episodes that change lives. Yeah. And it's it's interesting for me to see that continuity of. Do you think you're fascinated by family secrets because you were keeping so many secrets personally? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, and um, it's funny. We th- there is a sense that if only we could only tell the truth. Mm-hmm then we wouldn't be haunted. Mm-hmm. But I think people get used to being haunted. Yeah. It becomes such a such a, a habit that even after we've 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 told our truth and lived our truth, we still are in the habit of 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 feeling um um feeling the past. And the, and the thing is that people have to build a bridge between who they are and who they were. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, our, you can't just begin your life one one day as yeah. if everything that happened before that n- never existed. When people enter the wit- witness protection program, mm-hmm. I have no idea how they survive because it's kind of it kind of means you don't have a history. And even if your history is something that you're not proud of or that, mm-hmm. or that is painful to you, we ha- you have to make peace with it because otherwise you can never really be whole. At least that's what I think. 